As we look at the big picture here, we have this low pressure system that's now draped over the valley. This is uh, causing, this was what caused all that rainfall yesterday when it was uh, centered off towards the west of us. Now we're seeing most of that rain will off towards the east, not really expecting much rain, at least for the next two to three days. But as we look at that high temperature forecast, temperatures warming up into the upper 80s. Our next cold front on the way for Saturday we could see some few showers and storms across the valley as we head into the weekend. Back to you. The city of McAllen has released new details about the upcoming holiday parade. Stay tuned for the latest announcements. Also, art is a form of expression, and we are taking you behind the scenes into an artist's mind in Brownsville at one special museum. Those details. immediately. Welcome back. Your time now 514. Art is a form of expression, so it's always fun to try and figure out what a piece is really trying to say, right? Right, yes, and lifestyle host and executive producer Danielle Banda is in the studio to help make that process a little bit easier, right Danielle? Good morning. Good morning. You are so right. Get this. The Brownsville Museum of Fine Art is hosting various events for you and the whole family to check out all month long. Okay, and since November has just begun, I've got your lineup of what you can mark on your calendar for the next 28 days, but the fun starts as early as tonight. See, you're going to want to set your sights on the Artist Talks event because this is your opportunity to engage in an exciting meet and greet with some of your very favorite local artists. I mean, if you've ever been at a museum and, you know, stood there wondering how they come up with the concept for a piece, well, then you know how valuable and unique of an occasion it is uh, to be able to talk to them in person so you can pick an artist's brain in front of their masterpiece. A local professional artist Gabriel Trevino will be displaying his work called Border to Mars. Very cool. And the ever so talented artist Jerry Lyles uh, will be showcasing his piece called The Pumpkin Show. Perfect for this fall season, right? <laughs> the event's going to be a hundred percent free to enter and open, of course, to everyone in the valley. And I'm sure the kiddos would have a blast checking out the different works of art as well. Lots of bright colors to admire for sure. Now, the museum will also be featuring a Nuestro Gusto por la Pintura event. And this is yet another opportunity for you to check out local artists' work on display there. 
Plus, this is your chance to mingle with other art enthusiasts of the 956, making it, of course, such a great event. So you can be sure to check out their website for all the details on which exhibits will be up tonight, which artists are going to be visiting on site, and, of course, all the other info that you guys are going to need to know. Um, have you ever wondered that, you guys? Like, you've been there, and you're like, I wonder what they're trying to say. Where did the inspiration come all the from? Time, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm still yes. thinking, what was the last time I went to a museum? It's yeah. been a while. I think this is a great opportunity to go out there and... Yeah. And I really admire. I was at the event in McAllen, the one with all the paintings, uh, the festival that was going on about a couple of months ago during the summer. Amazing. And I was so amazed at the artists and the talent that's there. So I know. Cool Literally so many of our local artists' work is up there. Yeah. And, and even the kiddos get to enjoy the colors, you know? Yeah. Definitely. Sometimes there's some that are like just splatters, right? And then there's some that are so like specific. Like you can think of the Mona Lisa and it's so timeless, right? Yes. But And everybody interprets it a little bit different. Yeah. So yeah, artists. Awesome. I know. I'm like, I could not do that, but that looks great. <laughs> I could spit, split and splatter. Right? Yeah. I could do that too. <laughs> Whatever their taste, go out and check it out, right? Yeah, it's going to be so good. All happening tonight, but then, of course, other events throughout the month. So awesome. thanks, Danielle. Thank yeah. you. And happening in your community, if you're a veteran looking for a job, then mark this date. On November 10th, Workforce Solutions, in partnership with the Texas Workforce and the Texas Veteran Commission, will host a Veterans Hiring Fair. It will be held in person at the Brownsville Events Center. That's at 1 Events Center.